What's up everybody? My name is Sylvester Silverstein. I am a famous author. I've written about 45 books in my entire lifetime and today I'm going to be feeding Bailey something that I got it from the vet the other day along with this clip. Why did I get a clip? Oh, she, she, she's taking a bite out of it. She spit it out. She didn't like it. And how about this magnet? You want to try the magnet? Oh, that was just a sudden no. All right, Bailey. Well, hey, it's time for probably the thing that you're going to actually enjoy eating, which is this nice, this nice little shot of, um, you know, peanut butter or something. All right, so we're going to take a sniff out of it. Mm. It's actually not bad. I don't know what it is. I probably shouldn't be eating it and probably should be giving it to Bailey. All right, let's just give it to you. Oh, <laughs> she's like, what the? <laughs> do you like it? I don't know how to do this. All right, we're just going to put it on the ground. She's gonna lick it off. Here, try it. Try it. Come on. Oh yeah, she's a fan. We're gonna be squirting it all over the floor. And you know what? I clean my floors six times a day, so I don't wanna be hearing it. Oh, your floor's dirty. Guess what? Even if my floor was dirty, this stuff is good for her. So it kind of evens it out. She'll probably be just the same as she was before she ate it. There we go. What do you think? You wanna give me a paw now? Thank you. Thank you for that, Paul. All right, so what's going on, everybody? Today, we're gonna be eating some tacos that I got from Mr. Homo Man, AKA Homo Moto. He sent me this package. It was just a carefully careful care package, and it's got all this nice taco stuff in it. I opened it on the Club channel. So, it comes with some crunchy taco dinner kit that comes with like some mild sauce or something. Let's see, let's see what it's got. Oh, whoa, it's a big old thing of mild sauce. I probably would never eat this because it's mild, it's gross. I need the fire sauce. Luckily, we got some fire sauce in here. Oh man, our reserves of fire sauce are actually pretty low, but luckily, Mr. Homo Moto, he came through and he sent me all kinds of fire sauce, Diablo, Diablo, Diablo sauce. What do you think, Mr. Rooster? Would you like the mild sauce? Would you like the fire sauce? Would you like the Diablo sauce? That's what I thought. That is what I thought. I'm not going to give it to you though because it's mine. Anyways, let's see what else we got in this box because I just been, whoa, that was loud. I've been letting the box sit, just sit around for so long. Oh, we got this Marines Veterans Day card from the Mr. Homomoto. Thank you so much. And we have this stick and all of these nice little things that I just love to open up. We're gonna have to go open one up on the back deck. Come on, Bailey. Bailey's probably never seen the plethora of stuff that's in here. What happened? Why are you limping? What just happened? She's limping. What's wrong? What's the matter? Why are you limping? I don't know what just happened. You were walking fine and you walked out the door and you started limping. I definitely didn't step on you or anything. What's wrong? You know what, Bailey, I got you. We're gonna open this up. I'm sure after you see this plethora of goodness that's inside, you'll be right back to normal. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, she does, she wants to eat it. Don't eat that, don't eat that, bros. All right, come here, I wanna see if your leg's better. All right, come here. I wanna see if you can walk now. Can you walk? What was that all about? I don't understand you. Anyways, today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be having a taco eating contest. Myself versus the Bailey girl. Where you at, Bales? Who do you think is gonna win, Bailey? Oh, you think you're... you're Okay, so directions are right here, and I need one pound of lean ground beef. I don't have any ground beef. Come here, Bailey. Come on. Come on over. Let's go. Lay down. Lay down. Good girl. Now you gotta stay there, okay? Because you're just all bedridden, and you know I gotta go. I gotta go. Profe! So this has been something that I've wanted to show you guys for a really long time, and I've just never known how to do it, so... I'm just gonna break it to you and kind of show you right now. I'll let you guys decide what you want to think. If you want to stay subscribed, if you want to dislike the video, whatever you want, but this is a red fire hydrant and I'm gonna lick the end of this chain. Oh man, I gotta go put my gas cylinder away. All right, got my gas cylinder put away. I mean, you gotta admit that's kind of a silly rule, right? Gas cylinders, everybody's got one of those. <laughs> Why can't I bring it in the store? I got the meat. I don't know which kind I got, but it's meat. Yep. Okay, so it's very important that before I go home and I cook this, I get it nice, tenderized, and, and ripe by these nice leaves. We want to really get it in there, though. You don't want to just, you know, let it rub around the surface. Ow. Ow. I got thorned. You see that? 15 miles per gallon? That's right. This isn't a Prius. It's a truck. 
It's a Dodge Ram 15 Prius. I'm back in the house and I got my good old cutting board. And I got my good old ground beef. It's got plenty of holes in it, blood shooting out everywhere because I threw it in a pricker bush, I guess. I, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just throwing it in a bush because I was getting marinated. So Bailey has gone ahead and picked which knife we will be killing this beef with. And it's going to be this big monster puppy knife. What do you think, Bailey? Is this good? I don't want to get it too close because you'll probably lick it and cut your tongue off. Alright, so. Ha! Oh, that was pretty good. What do you think? Pretty, that was a clean cut. Get it, Bales. Get it. Okay, so I'm just now realizing that I cut the beef kind of down the middle, not really, because I thought that would be the appropriately cool thing to do. And I realized that I don't know if I was supposed to do that. It's two pounds, so I did. I was supposed to cut it down the middle. Man, I told you. I mean, it wasn't completely down the middle. It was like kind of down the middle. So, Bales, are we gonna take the big half or the small half? Answer me. Answer me. Big half. We're just gonna start chopping it up with this, this, with this. That's what you're supposed to do. I decided. I decided that's what you're supposed to do, right, Bailey? Yep. She's got that face of concern, but you know what? It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Bailey's like, yo, I'm getting out of here if you keep that up. Oh, she thinks I got the peanut butter spoon. <laughs> she thinks it's smoothie time. It's not smoothie time. Bailey, between you and I, you should be terrified. Last time I tried to cook, I almost burned the house down. Oh, it's not gonna happen again. You know how I said I wasn't gonna set my house on fire? Well, I think we're getting there. I think I was wrong, Bailey. Outside. I don't even try, dude. I just light stuff on fire, man. It just happens. I think we're good. I think we made it. I think we have some official Taco Bell grade A quality beef, and we're gonna be munching on it in just seconds. Are you ready? So there was literally two that weren't cracked in some way, shape, or form. So we have our two. Now we need to put the tacos together. So Bailey's gonna be at somewhat of a disadvantage during this competition because I am gonna be pouring all of this fire sauce all over mine, which is gonna make it go down so much easier than hers. Because I think that she might just be allergic to fire sauce according to what you guys are saying. What do you think, Bailey? You wanna try some fire sauce? Should I let you do it? I'm not gonna let you do it. Without any further ado, the taco eating competition is about to begin. Who do you think is going to win? Is it going to be me? Is it going to be the Bales? Is it going to be me, the Bales? I honestly don't know. I'm kind of a little concerned here. But I have the two plates of tacos. One of them's got fire sauce on it. One of them doesn't. And it's going to be myself versus the Bales. I hope this is going to be okay. It's going to be okay. She's eaten tacos before. This one doesn't even have fire sauce on it or cheese or anything else. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. What's going on? Done! I was weak, Bailey. I really was actually genuinely concerned that you were going to beat me. I don't know, she took like a 10 second pause though and I think she was confused. But I think it's safe to say that I am the taco eating champion. And now we're going to give Bailey her punishment. I'm going to have to put this box on your head. It's not going to be pleasant. I'm sure there's many things you would rather be doing right now, but, but, but it's going on your head. All right. And that's a deal. A deal's a deal. That's a loss. She took the L, took it with pride. Okay, so I just finished cleaning up and dude, I am pumped! I just got an invite to my buddy Randy's house to watch the Celtics versus the Golden State Warriors game. For those of you who don't know, I am a huge Celtics fan. I've been a Celtics fan for probably like 20 years. And I just don't want to bring the camera in his house start sticking it in his face. But dude, I'll let you know what happens. You probably already know what happened if you're at all interested in basketball. But I'll see you after the game and I'm either going to be really pumped I'm going to be really sad, so I'm, I'm going to be really pumped. Let's go. Yo, Celtics won. Bailey's going to be celebrating with some food. Do you want the yummies? Do you want the yummies? Did the Celtics win? They won. Here you have your yummies because the Celtics won. Okay, so I totally jumped on the bandwagon and made the rash decision to buy 
a bandwagon $100 Celtic shirt made by Mitchell and Ness, which I guess is some sort of expensive factory brand. All right, well, I gotta get to bed, but I sound like 644 Honda Swipe up, buy some merch at the God Church. But I'm gonna lick my license plate. I love looking at license plate every single day. I hope you saw that. And with that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Brrr.